How's it going, sports fans? Philip Diana here with the Prep Pig Skin Report. Let's start this week off with a little bit of trivia, why not? Which San Diego high school has the most active NFL players? If you answered Lacosta Canyon High School with three, you'd be correct. Brothers David and Scott Questenberry, along with wide receiver Kenny Stills, all hailed from Lacosta Canyon High School, which is where I am for this week's North County Game of the Week, featuring the Mission Hills Grizzlies and the Lacosta Canyon Mavericks. The Grizzlies, who also boast a couple NFL prospects and linebacker for the 49ers Fred Warner, along with Saints wide receiver Chris Alave, are coming into this game at 2-1, and, and they're going to be looking to advance to 3-1 and one on the year and avoid dropping to 500. On the other side of the ball, Lacosta Canyon sits at 1-2. and two. Their goal is going to be to get to the 500 mark with a win tonight. It's Grizzlies, it's Mavericks, it's high school football here in San Diego. It's all right here, right now, on this week's Prep Pigskin Report Red Jacket Hogcast. Let's see those highlights. Straight into the first drive of the first quarter, LaCosta Canyon with the ball, and it's running back number 28, Andrew Mays, who takes the ball, bounces off his tackles, hugs the sideline, all the no, not all the way. He's brought down at the one yard line by number one, Fabian and CISO. Then from the one yard line, Mavericks try to punch it in. Mays is met right away by number 53, Anthony Terrazas. Then Jonathan Class of the Grizzlies is able to make the stop on second down. Mays still able to recover some of the lost yardage, but this Grizzly defense won't let him into the end zone. And a bad snap, Mays can scramble all he wants, but this defense is just too good. They do not let him into the end zone for a huge goal line stand. Then Tyler Robles of Lacosta Canyon on the ensuing drive splits the uprights from 46 yards out to make it a 3-0 Mavericks game. But then Jonathan Reyes, Mission Hills, answer right back, 47 yards out. It's good. Make it 3-3. Robles again to make it 6-3 from 47 yards out. That's also good. This was a huge game of kickers and defense, as you can see right here. Caden Miller absolutely blowing up this Mission Hills play right before the half. Then in the fourth quarter, Splavik picked off by Henry Davis the third takes it all the way in for the pick six make it to 10 to six Grizzlies then Splavik he answers right back finding Andrew Mays over the middle this time he will not be stopped gets into the end zone to make it 13 to 10 but then Mission Hills driving the field just under a minute to play fourth down hucks the ball up in the air batted down by the Lacosta Canyon defense. The fans love it. They bum rush the field. Following the game, we got to listen in on Coach Sovacool's post-game speech and also got a chance to speak with Mavericks kicker Tyler Robles and running back Andrew Mays. 
Take a listen. Against the wall and watch us fight our way out. Time and time and time again. Yeah. That was special, guys. It counts for one. Clock in zero. All we care about is one and zero. Oh. One and zero. Oh. Just keep stacking the bricks. Keep stacking the bricks. One and zero. Oh. One and zero. Oh. Keep stacking them bricks. Talk about that last touchdown right there. What was going through your mind running all the way down there? That was awesome. Seam was wide open. He ripped it right on the money. Right as I caught, I thought run because I got hogged down earlier in the game. I was just thinking run, run, run. So, <laughs> and I ran a run and we scored and we came back. A kicker with an absolute cannon of a leg. Tyler made 40, a 46 yarder and a 47 yarder. Talk about what it's like being a kicker and was there any pressure in that situation? Well, you know, I mean, my team is amazing. They block perfectly. Uh, shout out Jake Fromm, Connor Luoto. I would not be able to kick as well as I do without those guys. Great snaps, great holds, and great blocking. So it's been a good night. We're not surprised that we won, and we're going to take on San Marcos next week. After the pick six, Coach Sovico does a great job bringing us back up, bringing our spirits up. He made sure we stayed locked in the game, and you know what? Came out with it. And you wear number nine. I, you talked to me earlier. I know it's not solely because of Justin Tucker. It's a family number. Yeah. What exactly is the significance? You know, my family, the Robles family, has been wearing this number their entire sports career. So this is, you know, what I wear to honor it.